Hello and welcome to episode 11 of the formula. X plus Y plus Z equals sales. Today we're discussing the wave effect in a pipeline. Why salespeople aren't always going like this. They're doing more like this. I'm going to tell you why. Hello and welcome to episode 11 of The Formula. As I said today, we're gonna to talk about the wave effect. Now, this is really, really common in a salesperson's life. Um, even when you're really, really good, it happens. And there's a reason for it. Yes, yes. So, so centers, you've got your leads coming in, you you're doing your cold calling and you're basically creating a pipeline because right. you have to have your pipeline filling up constantly. Now, the worst part of a sale is that knock something off your pipeline. So we don't want that. So let me explain in, in a way that, let's, let's start with someone's just started their sales role. Okay, you've just employed someone or you've just gone into your sales role. You've, you're hitting the phone, your boss is saying to you, you need to smash the phone, make as many calls. You've seen my episodes where we talk about 160 calls a day, even more if you can. And you're building up this pipeline of new business, which is fantastic. Some of it will start closing quite early, but with our statistics in the B2B world, the, the closing sort of time is on, a, is on a six to eight week window from when you take a new inquiry in or you get someone interested on a cold call. So you spend that sort of six weeks creating this pipeline of new business. On the eighth week, it starts dropping and you have a fantastic month. So usually from, the set, from two and a half months in to your third month, you're up here. Problem is, your pipeline has started diminishing because you've had amazing orders on that, on that third month. Then you start panicking because you come into your fourth month and you sit down and you look at your pipeline, it's shrunk by half because your time has been taken up looking for new business um, and you haven't been spending, well, you've been spending too much time concentrating on orders and not enough time creating new business. So it's come down like this again. So then you start rattling around for anything out there. You start trying to get as many leads as possible, cold calling more than ever. So you go up again on that six to eight week period. Then you have loads of orders come in. You're having to deal with all the requests, with all the orders, fulfilling those orders, keeping your clients happy again, and it starts dropping off. So it's about, to get around this, you need to keep consistency in your calling. As I said earlier, the worst part of getting a sale in is that your pipeline shrinks. You've got a two grand on your pipeline, you do a two grand order, you're knocking the two grand off your pipeline. You need to keep filling that pipeline up. This is really, really serious because every salesperson has this. If you're sitting there thinking, never happens to me, I'm always like this, then fantastic. Come and work here. But it is, it is something that is always happening. I've been doing this for 17 years and until recently, I've only just discovered why this is happening. It's because we analyze everything we do here. So you need to keep on the phone and you need to keep on dealing with those leads even when you're taking loads of orders. In fact, you should be busier when you're taking loads of orders rather than when you're just cold calling and trying to create new business because you're having to fill the, fulfill the orders and you're having to create stuff. You need to keep your pipeline moving upwards all of the time. Otherwise, it's just gonna keep on going and you're gonna be in that horrible place that salespeople find them in all the time where you have a pipeline that big, your colleagues are this big and you're wondering why they're hitting target and then you're just thinking, where the hell am I gonna get these from? So that is what we call the wave effect. Get on the phone, start dealing with more requests, start cold calling more and fill that pipeline. See you on episode 12.